you know what I like uh, on this uh, on this setup uh, physically presented in a space is the fact that this more of a retrospective part than a lower level in which we are now uh, has all these open windows and you can have this beautiful overview around the city and the park, the gardens around, but uh, in the first floor everything is enclosed and you have just this uh, artificial light which is creating some kind of possibility for the, for the future, for the possible future, for possible ways how the situation would develop with the architectural setup, with uh, those paintings being removed, with everything which is uh, somehow playing with the space. So um, my question for you maybe, uh, as a question for a main curator of this show, uh, would be how do you see this, uh, this specific uh, duality uh, between this new project and the more of a retrospective part creating together this perspective? Yes, for me again I will go back to the Belvedere because it's kind of a, let's say it's a place where you can land from anywhere. So the first, let's say, touch from gravity that anything can touch within the city. And it's kind of not endogène but exogène. So it's eccentric as well. So from here, Again, you have a 365 degrees of vision, almost on the city, on the, on the land. So it's almost like a castle or a, a laboratory of the future in the sky, looking around. So the gravity, painting gravity as he's doing here behind us with this ritual performer that was holding uh, this weight, I found it very interesting to put it in that historical, contemporary, uh, uh, blurred situation and where we are. We know more understand if it's past, present, future, but we are in the first touch possible of gravity. This is the connecting point in Prague. So for me, the first thing that, has, that I found very exciting to be here is, and sharing with Federico is this position geographically, mm. psychologically, mentally, conceptually, in Prague, overviewing everything, then touching his work with that. Even though machine is part of our life and we are dictated by machines all the time from our iPhone, our computer, or even now the, the, the car that will come soon with no more driver, of course it may lead ourselves. But the thing is, people are going back more and more to human scale, human touch. So it's, it's really smartly reversing that process that we are no more becoming our fantasy was becoming a machine, but we are not a machine. Our brain, our way of behaving needs this 
paradoxical end. So it's showing with this ritual we had in the back, the importance of the hand, despite the fact that we are living in a, in a machine world. Of course, everything is built up, but there is, I would say, the, the, the mistake of the machine that are part of uh, his work, and the traces of the hand, or the mistake of our hand, and the imperfection is part of his work. Being, being perfect in machine, from minimalism history, we have no more traces, everything clean, so bright, and too perfect, and is completely for me, reversing with this generation, your generation, the importance of these traces, this hand stuff here, part of it, which is exactly here, destroying this uniqueness and all those machines. And in the long run, it's no more clean. It's becoming so called dirty by the traces of people coming in the room, leaving the work, living with it. So there is not this impossibility of uh, ourselves. We can use it and have the presence of ourselves, which I found very important, like the pieces did in China with machine. This uh, history of painting made by hand that it was done reversely by machine. But those things will be hurted by time because the color will change as well. So anyhow, the machine, the, the time, the air, the change of humidity will bring back life in it.